Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Habakakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God in Jesus Christ, whose correct and proper names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered through all the four winds of the world, unto the servants and prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring. In this truth and in this doctrine, unto you I say shalom. Scourge and chastisement come with the territory. All right, so the Most High has opened your eyes into this truth. You understand that you're Israelite. You repent it. You call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right, you become a new creature in, in, in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, you, you put away the old man. A scourge and chastisement come with that. All right, that's that bitter that's spoken of um, in the scriptures. All right, it, it's sweet. All right, when you find out you're Israelite, you 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 know you know the name of the Lord. You have a heritage. You know you know you know you're not black. You you've been enlightened with this wisdom, this history. You know, but at the same time, it comes bitter with that. All right, and, and that bitter sometimes. Um, a sometimes it'd be a hard, or it's a hard pill to swallow, because you're gonna go through shit, you're gonna catch hell, and but it's all for the the refinement, the Lord refining you, uh, uh, making you white. All right, these things that happen to us in this truth, the shit we go through, it makes us better ultimately. That's the scourge. All right, and when we're scourged, we're supposed to amend our ways. All right, repent. All right, turn men, turn away from sin, turn away from the things that we did in the world. All right, where we may have slipped up once once we're in the truth, we may have slipped up. All right, but that scourge comes to give as a reminder to remind us of these um of the sins or where, where we went off, and so we won't do it again. All right, because like you know, we always say no one can follow the law says the commandments to the bet you know to 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 the fullest. No one can follow the the the, the, the law statutes and commandments one hundred percent, but we do what we can in this captivity. Okay. And the scourge and the chastisement comes from the Lord when we go off, all right? And, and, and really to, to make us better. That, 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 like I said, that refines us. It, it makes it, it builds us. It builds us in the spirit. It builds our faith, all right? Because a lot of times when you go through shit, you know, you like, you, you, you know, and back in the world, you used, to, you used to lean on your own understanding or you used to take advice from niggas in the world, all right? When you go through things, you're supposed to lean on this truth. You're supposed to lean on your how about you shot. For understanding, for knowledge, and and and, and um, and wisdom, and uh, you know whatever the situation you may be in to get you through that situation, and you understand why you're going through that. All right, once you you know um, you understand, you know that you're going to be scourged, you're going to be scourged and be chastised by the Lord in this truth. So let me um, get Second Ezra chapter sixteen, and. Um, I start at 18. Be the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine, plague, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. All right. And those scourges are sent for us to amend our ways. If it's just, it says scourges for amendment. All right. So these things are sent. All right. The famine, the plagues from the Heavenly Father, tribulation. All right. You know, you're catching hell in the world, anguish, heartache. All right. All these things are all these things take place from the Lord for the betterment of ourselves, for the betterment of, of, of the Lord refining his elect. Lord willing, we are part of the elect. OK, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be mindful of the scourges. And when, you know, this is really speaking of the two birds, because the elect is going to amend their way. Their elect is going to repent. But the two birds are not mindful of the scourge. For example, you got you got a lot of jakes that you know. Um, you can say they 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 look more into this truth as this pandemic took place. As the pandemic got worse and worse, all right, Jake was coming out and coming to the camp, and you know Jake got Jake got, you know Jake was afraid a little bit. Jake was you know uneasy. Jake was uh, uncertain about things. But as Esau began to lift up mandates and things started to somewhat turn back to you know, how they once were, which they're never going to turn back how they once were. But, you know, once they, they Esau played that, 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 that trick on you to think that things are turning back, turning back to how they once were. All right. Jake forgets all about the truth. All right. They're not, they weren't mindful of the scourge of, uh, of that, um, 
of that that that, that pessimist, whether it was man made or not. All right, it all came from Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. So you have to be mindful of these things, just like world, you know, potential war is coming up. All right, we don't know if it's going to this is going to lead to World War Three, but hey, these are the rumors of war. All right, and and you may have Jake, you know, uh, that straddle on the fence that's. Uh, you know, one foot want to be in the truth and one foot want to be in the world, they're going to inquire of these things. But they're not mindful of the scourge because they really don't fear the Heavenly Father. That's what it boils down to, fearing, and fearing the Lord. Or if you fear the Lord, all right, you know, you, you'll, you'll be trying to walk, uh, uh, you'll be trying to walk a straight, uh, the straight and narrow as much as possible. You won't be going and bearing off to the left and bearing off to the right. You'll be walking a straight line as, 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 as best as you can. But if you don't fear the Lord, you're doing all whatever. And, and then when it, when when shit hit the fan, when it's, when, when when things get bad, that's when you Jake's wanna you know uh, cleave onto the Lord and, and inquire about the truth. All right, the, the time is now because hey, the scourges and the, the chastisement is it's coming at a low level. But when it begins, the Lord begins to turn things up because this is the year of the turn up. Lord begins to turn things up. Hey, it, it, it's not going to be any more. Um, it's not going to be any more. Great, the grace period is through. It's not gonna, the Lord's not going to show any mercy anymore. All right? Um, this is Hebrews chapter... Uh, it's lucky. I think it's 12. Uh, this is Hebrews chapter 12 and 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation that which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. All right? Don't, hey, don't get mad when the Lord is jacking you up. When you're going through things and, and be, hey, hey, rejoice in that because the Lord is dealing with you. All right. You want the Lord to deal with you. You want the Lord to chastise you because the Lord don't chastise you. He's just preserving you. He letting you, you know, just run around like a, like, like a, like, like a, like a child that, you know, is going to eat like a child that runs around and, and, and does all this, you know, acts bad and gets all that type of shit. But at the end of the day, but at the end, of, at, at the end of that day, their, their father is going to whoop their ass. They're going to give them a real good ass whooping. All right, versus correcting them right when they jet mess up. All right, so the Lord is just letting these two third niggas, you know, run amok and, and do what they want to do. Because at the end of the day, when it's all said done, they're going to get that ultimate ass whooping. All right, but if you're getting jacked up, if you're being getting corrected by the Lord now, hey, the Lord, the Lord loves you. Ultimately, the Lord, the Lord is um is is deal, ultimately dealing with you. Okay. And you want that chastisement from the Lord. You want that correction uh, to come from the Lord. Verse 6, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourges every son whom he receiveth. All right? So if you're a son or a daughter of the Lord and you receive the chastening uh, uh, of the Heavenly Father and his son, hey, that, that's a good thing. All right? You know, hey, that, that's, that means the Lord cares enough about you to whoop your ass from here to there when you jack up. All right? Verse 7, if ye endure chastening, the most high deal with you as sons, for what is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if but if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then all ye are bastards and not sons. And uh, you two thirds of our people out there that's going to destroy you, you're bastards right now. The Lord is not dealing with you. All right. The Lord really hates you right now. And, and, and he really despises two thirds of our people right now because they're not in their right mind and they do whatever the hell they want to do. All right, they do what the so-called white man tells them to do. All right, they're not they're not hearkening to the Lord. They're not hearkening unto His word. They're not seeking His prophets. All right, they're not uh, they, they don't they're not uh, amending their ways. They're not trying to get right because uh, the Lord is you know the Lord is making these things happen as far as war and uprising of the people, famine. All right, pestilence. You know they they these niggas saw um, this pandemic as a, all you got to do is get the shot and and you good. It's a, it was a quick fix. All right. They, they didn't see that as the Lord giving them, uh, showing them mercy and, and, and you know, um, allowing them to uh, uh, get right. All right. This is uh, James chapter. Um, I should start at one. James, the servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach of the 12 tribes, which are scattered abroad. Greeting, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. All right. And, and all these things are happening for a reason. You know, these things work your patience. These things, when you're going through things, they build your faith. All right. Because at hey, the times that we're coming into, Jacob's in trouble, you want your faith to be at as, as high as it can as as be. All right. You don't want your faith 
or, or, or to waver. You don't want your faith in your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to ever waver. But in these times, you don't want it to waver at all. You want to be 100%, 144% sure of, of, of your faith in that day. So he said, I'm going to read two again. But my brethren counted our joy when you fall into diverse temptations. And that's something that that is, um, you know, people in this world, they when you fall into temptation, they, they look at it as a bad thing. He said, count it all joy. All right? Because everything in this world is going to turn upside down. Count it all joy because the Heavenly Father is dealing with you. The Heavenly Father loves you enough to correct you. All right? To, 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 to whoop your ass when you need it. All right? To put you through something to, to, to prepare you for what's to come. Okay? That's like giving you a giving you a pop a few pop quizzes before the final test, and that's what the Lord is doing. That's how He's building your faith, knowing this and the trying of your faith. Your faith work the patience. Um, let me grab this scripture. Uh, just Romans three. Um, here it is, Romans uh, five and uh, three, and not only so, but the, we glory in tribulations also. Glory and tribulations, all right? Hey, you're going through shit. You're going through things mentally, uh, maybe physically, financially, all right? Hey, you glory in that because the Lord is going to provide a way for you out if, if he's ultimately dealing with you, okay? And you wait on the Lord, all right? That's wrong with Jake. Jake doesn't have patience. Jake got that, that Edomite spirit where they got to have it now. You got to wait on the Lord, all right? Wait on the Lord. He'll provide for you, all right? You're going through something financially, hey, wait on the Lord, you all right? The Lord wants you to go through that. So he can, so you can call upon him, so you can seek him, and he can provide for you, or he can show you why he's doing this to you, okay? So you can, oh, so he can open your eyes more, so he can suck with you, all right? Because if, 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 um, you know, when you go through things and everything's a quick fix and everything's at your fingertips, and you know, you're going through shit financially, and you can just get the money, and you know, uh, uh um, you know, you, you, you. You, you may be sick and you just go get a pill from Esau and you feel good. There's it's no faith in that. There's no faith in it, all right? Because everything is everything is, uh, is tangible. You can just, you know, get it when you want it, all right? But putting your faith in the Lord, hey, hey faith is the substance of things not seen, uh, uh, the, the evidence of things hoped for, okay? So, hey, we, we know we, we don't see the most high. We don't see the Hobbit child, but, hey, we have faith that they're with us and that they're guiding us. And patient experience is experience hope. And hope make it not and hope make it not ashamed because the love of the most high is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. Okay, so hey, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit has to be dealing with you also to, to build your faith. All right, for you to uh understand and see these things when you're going through shit. All right. The Holy Spirit is opening your eyes like, oh damn, okay, I I see, you know, oh I see why this happened. Or I see while I'm, you know, this is taking place, you know. Let me not do this again. It, it really is to correct yourself, so you don't make the same the same mistakes twice. Because you can continue to make the same mistakes over and over again. Then, then the Lord stops the chastisement, and then and then it puts a demon on you to think the Lord's dealing with you when really He's just setting your ass up for the okie doke in the long run to 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 to, to, um, to judge your ass. Okay. Um. That's a rock too. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul with temptation. Set thy heart aright. Yes, yeah, Sirach 2 and 2. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul with temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Okay? Make not haste. Don't, don't just be quick to look for a, a quick fix. All right? Hey, put your faith in the Lord. All right? Strive to build your faith up. All right? When you go through things. All right? Whatever it may be, maybe something small, maybe something big, all right? It's something to build your spirit. It's something to build you in this truth, in this faith, to bring you closer to your Bashim Yahweh Rashad. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Be patient, all right? I just read the scripture in Romans the fifth chapter about patience and experience. Because your patience is going to build your experience. So when, when um, World War Three, Jacob's trouble, famine, pestilence, all these things come, you got patience. All right, you haven't been through these things, but you knew they were coming through your, you know, through 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 the, you know, your faith in your how about Chanel Shai that he's going to keep you in that day. Um, let me grab this. Uh, 
Let me just look at that real quick. This is John um, 16 and uh, 33. These things have I spoken unto you that ye, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. This is the words of Yahweh Shai. He said, in the world you're going to have tribulation. His prophets, his, the believers in him, the elect, you're going to have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yahweh Shai overcame the world. He was a perfect example. He never sinned, but still was persecuted and crucified. All right, for the sakes of Israel. All right, so we owe him. All right, so when you go through these things, hey, be of good cheer. I, hey, this is the worship of Yahweh Shai. You think Yahweh Shai going to lie and say, oh, you know, it's going to be all, it's like, like, like the Christian church, it's going to be all right. No, the Lord said, hey, you're going to have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. All right, he overcame it. He overcame death. All right. So, um, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shimon, Yahweh Shai, by Hashim, Yahweh Kakodash. Until next time, I say Shalom.